Hello again and welcome. Yes, I am now a fully paid up member of the Funnel Club and I got this t-shirt from Martin Saban Smith and it just took a couple of weeks to get here which is not bad considering the lockdown. However, a few years ago I got this, uh, got a few uh, very dry old oak burrs and uh, I cut them into bowl blanks most of them and I found this one in my wood pile. So this is about I've had it about seven years, six, seven years, and I know for a fact it had been on my friend's, in my friend's warehouse for about 20 years, sorry, but it's very, very dry. However, I don't know what I was thinking. The hole I drilled for the worm screw all those years ago is too deep, basically. So, unfortunately, this has got to be the top of the bowl, or hollow form, depending what I decide to do. Uh, so a lot of this gnarly bit is going to be, is going to be lost because this will be the, the outside of the bowl, if you like, or hollow form. But I think under there, there's still going to be some superb figure. So that's what's going to happen. There's quite a few deep cracks in it. As I say, it's a very old piece. And I've done a bit of temporary filling, and we'll see how that goes. OK, without further ado, let's turn this oak burr hollow form or bowl. So I'm going to start with a half inch bull gouge and I shall be turning at around 500 revs just over just nibble away at the corners nice and steady Just to keep you updated, uh, this piece here, this part of the of the of the blank, I used CA glue and some shavings. Now I didn't know at that time how far this uh, crack goes. Well, if you look here, you can see that it goes right round here to there. And what's going to happen if I don't reinforce that and give it some TLC? This whole section could just come away, especially when I'm hollowing. So what I'm going to do now is to drip some very some thin CA glue in there, uh, let it cure and come back and then do it again until it's saturated and hopefully that'll keep that on. It's got a wonderful figure and uh, hopefully it'll stay together and I'm definitely going to go for a hollow form and the reason I'm doing this I'm glad I did it because it means now that I can address the problem and hopefully we can sort it out and I'll come back when I've done it. So I've given it another 24 hours and I think it's uh, dried up now but I did put a lot of CA in there. Anyway we'll see. I'm going to use a 3 8 uh, bowl gouge just to bring this round here a bit more and uh, then I'm going to tidy up, just refine the shape and to do that I'll be using the Simon Hope Heavy Duty Negative Rake Scraper because that gives a lot of control and leaves a nice finish when you So 
So now we're using the Simon Hope heavy duty negative rake scraper. Now you want the cutting edge to be on the center and the tool horizontal and very light cuts. You just take nice little shavings just to refine the shape. Doing things like this, I stop frequently. Yeah, leaves a really nice surface. Bearing in mind, a burr like this has grain going every which way. Another ridge there. Okay, well I'm quite happy now with the shape of this up to about this point here and uh, I've got to sand and finish this part of the boa of the of the form then I'm going to spin it around and I'll decide then how large or small my opening is going to be and how I'm going to actually finish off the top of it. Mainly for the newer turners, um, I've got the chuck and the piece on the Simon Hope carving jig and you can see that what I've done here to the foot to about this area here, the shape I'm happy with, I've sanded to 600 grit. Now there are, if I can just show you this. There are some very deep cracks appeared here. They have appeared bigger as I've gone down the piece. So I'm going to fill these with sawdust and CA glue. And the one that I'd filled here that was right across this section here is taken everywhere apart from a little piece here so I could take the opportunity to fill that as well. And the reason I'm showing you this is that if you're ever in doubt of the integrity of anything, don't try and rush the job, stand back, see if there's a method that you are happy to use to maintain the, the integrity of the piece and do it. Don't just boldly go on and hope it stays together. Okay, so I'll come back when that's done and then we just finish off the shaping on the outside and hollow at the inside. Well that's the outside finish now, as I said sanded to 600 grit, I actually put three coats of um, Hampshire Sheen sanding sealer pre-thinned and then one coat of Hampshire Sheen high gloss and I think it looks rather good. So I'll spin him around now and take off the foot and then we can start turning the finial. 
Okay, so I haven't actually got something for a friction drive that I'm happy with. So what I did, I took uh, the live centre that came with the lathe and there is a knockout bar that goes in through here to stop the comb from spinning. And what I've done, I just got a piece of uh, two mil wire and I put that in and bent it opposite ways and that locks off the cone. And then I've just put a bit of insulated tape for safety here and I've insulated tape there to take up any slack and a piece of paper towel into the opening and brought up the tailstock. Not massive pressure, otherwise you're going to crack the piece obviously, but um, it runs very true. I'm quite happy with that. And what I'll be doing now is very carefully taking off the foot and then I'll take it off the lathe and hand sand the foot area and then we can get on with the finial. Okay, so I'm going to be turning the finial out of a piece of sycamore and I've got this in my serrated jaws and when I finish turning it I will sand it and then seal it with possibly two or three applications of a thinned sanding sealer. Let that completely cure and go dry and then I'm going to ebonize it with an ebonizing spray.
that'll do for now and just build it up gradually till the final coat. Okay so I've left it overnight now and it's really cured nicely and I'm not going to put any wax or lacquer on it because I like the sort of subtle glow to it so all that remains to do now is to part it off and the job is complete. Well that's the piece finished. English oak burr with a sycamore finial which I ebonized. Doesn't show very well against my black polo shirt but there you go. Like the form. Uh, it stands at just on seven inches from base to the tip of the finial and just over six inches wide and it's got some lovely figure on it. Um, there is a big crack there which we went through but that's held together okay but I think it was worth the effort. I'll put a few pictures up at the end. Well thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon and don't forget to stay safe.